Namaste. My name is Rui Zemora. I'm an international, international meditation master. Today I want to speak how to get our life back. How to live more a fascinating life where every moment is counting instead instead just to do the task or just to solve the problems or run away from our life that we mostly are doing because we think that we have to produce something we have to do something instead of to live now when we had been a baby we had lived in the here and now. Every moment was fascinating. And then we learned to think. And then we have known everything. <laughs> and if we know something, then we don't see something. Then nothing happens new to us. Or what said T. F. Ecker, the three most dangerous words is, I know that. Because then we are not open for the moment, for the here and now. Another example is cancer patients who have only to live one week or two weeks. And then every moment of their life is so intense because they have only to live a limited time. And then they enjoy their life much more than before. Our mind is so constructed that we really can only see the first seven years and afterwards we have inside of ourselves templates and instead to see we get the templates from our memory and uh, substitute what we see now. So if you describe, for instance, the changing of the sky, you have seen it so many times, with the template it's much more easier to process the picture. And so we cannot see the colors anymore because we process only the template sky in our mind. Another example is they have shown a movie about hygienic in the jungle for the Africans and after the movie they have asked the Africans what they have seen and, the, then, the, and then the Africans didn't have seen the rules and how to become hygienic they have just ignored it. This means we see what we want. The same is true for stock market. So then we imagine how the stocks should go. But um, this is our interpretation. It's not the reality. They have done this study also in London. Uh, that we are, when we are focused on something, that we ignore the whole picture. We cannot see the whole picture anymore. And this is the same thing that we want to live and we want to enjoy our life. And when we know everything, and if we are not open for the moment, we can't do it. And even it will harm our success.
If a rich people, if we would be a rich a person, then we would see everywhere opportunities. But uh, um, we can't see them because we are ignorant. We are not open for that. We see just only our templates. We are ignorant. And then for sure, uh, we can't enjoy our life. When I started with meditation, I was all the time very much in stress. Then my life slowed down and I've learned to empty my mind and to accept every thought instead of to fighting against thoughts. And then naturally my life slowed down and it works like crazy. Then I was again in a rush and I want to make very much in the last two years and again my life become faster and faster. And then I thought for what? For what I rush behind anything. And so the meditation is working that we are more open for the here and now. And if I see and if I compare how fast I was living even as a 12 or 13 years old guy and how slowly I live today, that every moment needs much more time. For me is a month a huge long time, a huge. And then we're getting our life back. If we just make less and really watch and really feel in the here and now instead of to be a robot to fulfill our task, to fulfill our life, to run away from our life. And the same is true for relationships. And this is really a, <laughs> really a pity. So, we live in a relationship and then we have made us a, an image about our darling, how our darling should behave, what our darling should do, what our dar darling have to fulfill in order to make us happy. And the love is gone. In Tantra we have learned to kill every day our darling. This means that we discover every day our darling new as an unknown person. And again, this I know that is a hindrance to discover something new in our life. And then our life is back, then our love is back, then our feelings are back, instead of this thinking I know that already, then I'm not open for the moment for new things and for relationships this is so crucial. Or my mother brought me always uh, as an underwear that was too small because like every parent they cannot see the change of their children. And then they are living two or, year, two or three years in the past and not in the here and now. And it's very difficult for the mind to find out a slowly movement. If something is going slowly downwards, we, we cannot recognize it. The same is if a child is changing, the same is true if our partner or darling is changing, we can't see that. The only thing is just to anchor us again and again in the here and now, that we really feel what is inside of ourselves, and that we really watch our thoughts 
and then our life is back. Thank you that you have seen this video and bye.